Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ajane if you don't know me already and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I created my very own platinum record plaque. So stay tuned. So I had this idea of creating this platinum record plaque for my friend's birthday since they are a singer and a songwriter and thought that this would be a great birthday gift. I thought of getting one officially made by the same companies who makes them for the RIAA certified plaques but their turnaround time was quite long and I figured like why don't I just make it myself. The only difference between mine and theirs is is that mine's is made with love. <laughs> okay like they got the certified certification for it and you know they got the gold plaques and it's platinum plaques and like anyway mine's just made with us so if you want to know how i created it just keep on watching for this project i will be using a 16 by 20 inch shadow box frame that i got from michael's the standard size for most plaques are 16 by 20 but you can make it any size you want next you will need a vinyl record i picked this one up at my local record store but you could definitely find one at your local thrift shop and i suggest finding the cheapest one you could find being that you will be spray painting it you will need gold or silver spray paint depending on if you plan on making a platinum record or a gold record a poster board to be the backing for your frame and your artwork a pair of scissors to cut out your artwork Next, you will need some adhesive to get your project to stick together. I got these fasteners at my local dollar store. We got some transparent tape and of course, a glue stick. For the plaque, I would suggest metallic paper, but I had a little issue with this and I'll explain that to you in a little bit. But if you can and you have a proper printer to do so, I would use metallic paper to make your plaque portion. And last but not least, your artwork. I created this poster and these decals using canva.com. Stay tuned to the end to see how I created it. All right, so to get this project started, the first thing I'm gonna do is wipe away any dust particles and then spray my vinyl record with some metallic silver to give it the platinum look. It's not necessary to do both sides, but I did it anyways. Next, I'm gonna take apart the shadow box frame and figure out how much depth I want my artwork and record to have. It comes with three inserts that allows the glass to be movable amongst them, which makes the shadow box adjustable up to one inch of thickness. I wanted my plaque to have depth between the record and the artwork, so what I did was I took the plexiglass of another 16 by 20 inch frame and I'm gonna clean it off and then I'll be placing it on top of two of the inserts. So this part is kind of unnecessary, but I wanted everything to stay in place within the frame, but I don't want to ruin the backing of it. So here, I'm just going to trace the current one on a black poster board and create a new backing for me to stick my artwork on. To get my artwork to stick to the poster board, I'm just going to roll up some transparent tape and tack it onto the four corners of the board. Then I'm going to just press it out gently to make sure there isn't any bubbling. I'm also going to wipe it down again with a dry cloth to remove any fingerprints or dust that may have gotten onto it while handling. So now I'm going to be taping two inserts together on all four corners to be sure that they don't move. Once that's done, I'm going to place the two inserts on top of the artwork and then place the plexiglass from the extra frame on top of that. Once I have the plexiglass lined up on the inserts and artwork, I'm going to then start taping the plexiglass to the inserts. I know a lot of taping is going on, but we're making sure this thing is secured. Adding the two inserts with the plexiglass is creating depth for the vinyl record. Okay, so now that I have the plexiglass laid over it, I'm going to be placing my vinyl record that I spray painted right on top of it. So there is a, a white dot in the center here because I made a placement of where I wanted the record to be. So um, I'm just gonna use the uh, circle that's in here to line that up. I could change it if I feel like it, but for the most part, this is where I feel like I want it to be. And then I went ahead and made some labels 
for the record center on Canva. And because I'm so indecisive, I designed four different ones. Um, and as you can see, it has his tagline that he usually says on his records and then his name. And then because he's a Leo, I decided to, you know, put little details of the Leo symbol in there. So I'm just gonna choose which one I wanna use and then I wanna just um, glue that onto here and go from there. Okay, so the label that I created in Canva was just a regular circle that I stretched out to be four by four, put the wording on it, added the symbols, and cut it out. And now that's on the record. Also in Canva, I created the plaque. So, um, I believe this is like two and a half by seven and a half inches. And then I created a line right in the middle so that way this full square could be still two and a half. Now, I did print out the plaque on metallic paper. And because I did that, um, the paper was not receptive of the ink. So I got it printed at Staples. And as you can see, there is some lines that if I wanted to use either one of the other ones, it wouldn't have worked for me. I went ahead and had designed four different sizing that I wanted because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. But luckily there was one good one out of the four that I had lined up on here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut that portion out. Um, there was some little marks that was a little faint, so I just went over it with a permanent marker and just touched it up. But we're gonna cut out our plaque. An alternative to do is to create um, the whole thing on its own and cut it out that way, that way you don't have to worry about it. But because I wanted it to look as official as possible, I wanted it to be on metallic paper. So let's go ahead and cut that out. Okay, so now that I have that all cut out, um, again, it was two and a half by seven and a half. You can make this any size that you want, but I feel like that would be the perfect size for me of how I wanted this design to look. So um, on the inside, I wrote presented to his name to commemorate the age he was turning on July 28th, 2021, and to continue to increase the energy of manifestation and blessings into your life. Happy birthday. So this will be a great memorable for his birthday, and especially since he loves music, this is like manifesting everything, manifesting platinum plaques around here. I was gonna do gold, but I was like, let's go higher. Let's 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 go to the the best we could get. So now what I have here is the official RIAA um, logo. So what I did was on if you could see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but on the inside of it, I was writing certified by Ajene all around it. So that way, it's kind of like the manifestation of officialness from them but it's created by me, so I just wrote certified by Ajene. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna cut this out and then I'm gonna place one on some hologram paper just to give it uh, the hologram effect because these logos are actually like holograms, so I was just gonna leave like a border around it to give it the hologram effect. Now I know it's unnecessary, but I'm extra, so we're going. We're gonna go for the gusto. We're, we're, we're gonna make it as official as I can. So now I'm just gonna trim this along the edges very closely so it can still have a slight hologram onto it. Okay, ooh, okay, okay. It's giving what it's supposed to give. Now, I know y'all probably thinking like, girl, what was the reason? But still, you can still see the hologram effect from the paper. I know I cut it as thin as possible, but it's still there. Okay, so this fits in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on to here. wasn't officially made okay so this is how it's looking I like it all right so now figuring out where I want it to be placed directly on here 
So I think I'm gonna tape this instead. Oh, we got action again. Oh, it's giving what it's supposed to get. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. So I'm getting excited. On the back of the record, I'm going to add Velcro dots to it so that way I can adhere it to the plexiglass. I Velcro the pieces together before doing so so that way they could already be aligned. Okay, then we're gonna reassure it with some more tape. So now, what I'm gonna do is carefully place this exactly where I want it because once it's stuck, it's stuck. Okay, so I went ahead and added some more um, Velcro dots to the back because I wanna make sure this does not move whatsoever. And this is pretty dirty. Ooh. Hold on. So now I just flipped it over to the back side so I could just really press this in because I want to make sure this stays for as long as it can without sliding in the frame. Because again, it's going to be on its own level or a layer. So there's nothing that's going to be pressing up against it to make sure it stays in place. So I really hope this works for, hell, eternity. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to go in Wipe it down from the back side. Flip this over. Oh, that look, oh, that look good. Oh my God, this is gonna be so amazing. I'm so excited. I really hope you enjoy this. <laughs> All right, so everything is looking good. So now I'm going to add the final insert. To give it depth, tape this down, just like I did the other ones earlier at the corners. All right, so we have the ready-made plaque, my poster, and then the backing. So what I'm gonna do now is, the glass is laid out. I'm gonna spray this down one more time so we can make sure it's clean, streak free. Carefully, I'm just gonna take this, place this inside of the frame. Oh, whoa, come on, tape. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, we make fit around here, baby. Okay, cool. Now that we have that there, I'm going to lay my poster in. this right in here oh my god lock it up okay oh my oh my god it's gonna get it oh my god this is amazing this is a masterpiece made by the companies who are certified by the RIAA. Like, this has been certified by Ajene, and I'm in love. Like, I think I wanna make one for myself after this point. This turned out so good. Like, it's 3D, being that it's in the shadow box, and along with me adding the plexiglass to it, luckily I had an extra frame to do that. So if you are um, interested or like thinking about doing a shadow boxing, be sure if they, check, ooh, I'm talking too fast and I'm too excited. Check to see um, if it comes with an extra layer of glass. If not, you might need to buy another frame or get some plexiglass to insert it. But I feel like that extra piece of um, plexiglass added to the dimension of this, which makes it look so good. It makes it look so official. This is great. Like, if he don't like it, he better love it. 
Okay, so I want to explain to you the details that I put into making this plaque for his birthday. So on the back side, of course, is a poster that I made with a whole bunch of photos of him working in the studio. Because like I said, he's a singer and a songwriter. So if you look closely, you can see that. Um, up top, of course, labeled it with his name. And then I put um, Manifest Your Destiny because we're manifesting platinum and diamond records around here. You feel me? So I wanted to make sure that he's able to see that, visualize that, that way it can attract him a lot faster. Um, of course, down at the bottom here, I made a plaque on the metallic paper. Like I said, I would suggest um, checking your printer if it can take metallic paper, the paper that I use. Thankfully, um, I was able to get one um, plaque out of it, out of the four that I printed. But yeah, it all worked for the best. Um, yeah, and then I have the certified RIAA logo, which hopefully I'm not uh, copywriting thing, but we're manifesting, you know? That's why all in between here, I put certified by Ajane because it's certified by Ajane, it's made by me, and yeah. And on the label here, it's his tagline for whenever he's writing and he's singing the songs is, when you hear this, you will play it again. Okay, I can't sing, we gonna leave it to the singer. <laughs> but you get the gist um his name is inside the label and then because he's a leo i put the leo symbols like three um leo symbols and with the record the center there's two symbols 180 degrees against each other so yes so yeah i, I am really proud of this project i am i love the way that it came out it looks so official you know what it is official i officially made it so it's official <laughs> So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, um, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Um, if you guys plan on making one yourself, tag me in your photos. Let me know how it went for you. And hopefully this helps somebody create their manifestation of a platinum or gold or silver record in their future. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a comment and let me know what you think. And until next time, I'll holla. Stay tuned for part two on how I created the artwork for the plaque. All right, so I'm going to be showing you guys how I created my artwork using Canva.com. Like I said, I spent quite a long time trying to perfect the details of creating this plaque. So I'm going to be taking out the heavy duty hard work and researching for you guys. So hopefully this helps you. So what I'm going to be doing first is opening up Canva. You could use Canva on your phone, but I feel like um, there's way more options by using it online. So up at the top here, you're going to be going to customize size or custom size. And for this, I'm going to be doing 16 by 20. And you want to make sure that this over here is changed to inches. So see how it reverts because it was in pixels at first. So let's do that again. 16 by... 20 let's put a lock on that and then we're going to create new design so my new design is going to open here on my left side over here is where i have all of my uploads so this is where i uploaded all of his photos that i wanted to use um and then for this symbol here i just took a screenshot of it offline um because of course we ain't certified so I just took a, um, a screenshot off of one that was uh, previously made. Okay, so for this, I just took a bunch of his photos, sized them down, and placed them all across. Okay, so after lining up all of the photos, I put all the photos together and then what I do is I just make this all highlighted and then group them together so that way I could just change the transparency of all of them at one time so I don't have to do them individually. So I think I did about like 42. Okay, so I went ahead and added some text. I added a header which will be his name. Change the font to BD Sans. Brought this down to I believe 104, 108, something like that. Put it in bold, and then I added an effect to it, which I did shadow, changed the color of the shadow to blue, and brought the transparency of it up to 100, and then the blur up to 100 as well. So then I added a subheading, which was manifest 
your destiny. So change the font of that as well. And then the sizing, letter spacing just a tad, effects, shadow, transparency, blur, the same blue. There we go. So boom. So I wanted to have a thinner line that bordered um, the poster. So what I'm gonna do is just bring it in a little bit. Let's change the color to white. And then once I bring it into the desired thickness, then that's when I'm gonna start stretching it out. Just to have like an effect of the border within the frame. So this is ultimately how I created my poster. Okay, so now that I got my poster made, what I did was I went ahead and let's go back to home and we're gonna do another custom size up here, which we're gonna do the eight and a half by 11. Make sure that is in, in inches, but because I just used it recently, I'm just gonna go ahead and click that. You wanna make sure that you're using the eight and a half by 11 because you don't wanna have to like print on extremely large paper for something that is so small. So be sure that you're creating like a separate page to create this. Um, because when you are in a project, it's going to remain that entire size for the full project. So you can't really interchange um, dimensions within a project. So just create another one. Or what I'm going to be doing is going to elements, going to select the circle, or you could type in circle, if I could spell. <clears throat> and then the circle template is going to pop up. So you're just going to drag that over. And what you want to do is make sure that it is four by four inches because that is the standard size of the vinyl um, label. So I'm going to do four by four inches and then I'm going to add another circle and make it as small as possible. Change the color to white. Bring that over here. I'm going to change this to black and I'm going to add some text. And then for the effects, I'm going to curve it. So with me having it curved, I'm just going to size it in to the record or to the label, center it. And then if the sizing isn't fitting correctly, just resize it within. Okay, that should be perfect. And then what I'm going to do is just hit the duplicate. And then I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees. Boom, bring that down here. Just add a little bit more curve. All right, so that looks pretty good. All right, boom, so there we have it. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another subheading and then I'm gonna be adding his name into it. And then doing the same thing. So with this one, I'm gonna be coloring it blue. I'm gonna use the same font. Go to effects, add the hollow effect, and then resize it. Boom, curve, boom, and then letter spacing. So just size it to what you think looks good. Okay, so after playing around with it a little bit and finessing it, I went ahead and added his zodiac symbol in here, being that it's for his birthday, so he's a Leo. So I downloaded a PNG um, from Google and just inserted it into my uploads and then brought it over into the project. So now you, I have a complete record label for his plaque. So that's done. So next, I'm gonna be creating the actual plaque part. So look, look for a rectangle again. Oh, so we have one that I've used. Boom. So for this, I'm going to be making it two and a half by seven inches. So probably want this to be a little thinner. So about here looks good. Then I'm going to do 2.5 in height. 2.5. And then we can stretch it to 7.5 in width. Slide that over just like that. 
And then I'm going to use a line. Let's shorten it. And then swing that baby over here. Boom. So I wanted it to be 2.5. So I just need to slide this over just a little bit. So that way it could be a perfect square. And boom. There we have the border for our plaque. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is add a subheading, which is actually gonna be my text. You can use either one. The heading, subheading, a little bit of body. All right, so now that I have that all typed out, the font that I used was Arial. It's kind of like Arial, but the Arial version for Canva. Um, and then the font size is 13.4. So what I did was I went ahead and put his name in bold. And then I put happy birthday in bold. So that way that can stand out because um, if you actually look at record plaques before, it's always their name is highlighted in bold and then the uh, either the album title or the single that they went platinum for is listed in bold. So, you know, just to have a play on the actual plaques um, and being that I'm commemorating this for his birthday, this is what I decided to create. So for the section that's here, this is what's going to be left for the logo. Um, and what I did was I went ahead and took this image off of Google. And what I did was I went ahead just to add some razzle dazzle to it. I wrote certified by Ajene in it a little bit. So that way you could tell that it was made by me. This is, of course, a replica, but of course we are manifesting, so I wanted to make sure that the real logo is there. So this would be what is printed. Okay, so this will be everything that you would need to complete your plaque along with the vinyl record. So this here, you can literally just plop it right in here, size it up a little bit to be perfect, and then print. Um, you can also, let's see, to get it super official, Let's add a silver backing to it. And then we're gonna position this to the back. Oop, all the way to the back. All the way to the back. Back, back, back. Okay, there we go. So, if you don't want to deal with the issue of the metallic paper in a printer, just um, use a silver picture or like a like a silver background and you could just place that right in here and just like that you have a label and you have your certified plaque so if you guys are interested in making your own hopefully this tutorial helped you it really wasn't meant to be a tutorial it was more of a this is how i made it but based off of the way i made it hopefully you guys can make one for yourself or your friend and yes so Thank you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, aha. Uh -huh.